gang world, this is Dr. Rico Short, the Root Canal Specialist to the Stars, the Grace Life Teacher, the inspirational motivator for you on this thankful Thursday. Now let's get to the root of your problem. Today I want to talk to you guys about godly counsel. Godly counsel. It reminds me of a scripture verse that we had to repeat every day in my old church of Parkwood Missionary Baptist Church in Columbus, Georgia. 31907, small church. I'm talking about this church probably had about 20 members and 15 of my family members and the other one was the pastor and his kids. I'm, not, I'm just saying. And I was like, why well, we gotta say this verse over and over again? And it just doesn't even make sense. And this is a verse I had been saying since I was probably about six years old and I was kind of snickering, wasn't even paying attention to it. And it's Psalms 1, 1. And it says, blessed is the man or woman who walk not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. And I was like, man, this thing has came back on me after about 40 years. And God was speaking way back then at Parkwood Missionary Baptist Church talking about godly wisdom. It says, blessed is the man who walk not in the counsel of the ungodly. You say, Dr. Sure, who's the counsel of the ungodly? Okay, you ready? It's people who say they are social media influencers. People like, you know, Oprah Winfrey. And I'm not, I don't have anything against Oprah. You know, I'm just saying. You know, she gives counsel, but is it godly counsel? It can be other people that you look up to. You know, other people that, you know, I don't want to call out any names, but other people that are have have the have the spotlight on them, but are they giving you godly counsel? God warns us not to sit in the area of ungodly counsel. Is the word they're telling you, is it from the Bible? Is it truth? Not only that, is it resonating with your spirit? And every time I come on and talk to you guys, I ask God to give me a word to resonate with your spirit so you can know that it's God, it's not me. I just say, God, I'm a willing vessel. Use me to make a difference in the life of people in this world that can't be erased. And that's my prayer for you as well. Godly counsel. Nor standeth in the way of sinners. That means that if you're always hanging around people that don't care nothing about God, if you always are listening to music, that doesn't even glorify God. And again, I'm not against hip-hop music. I like hip-hop music, but I just can't stand all that cussing. And it depends on what the message they're saying. If I figure out they're saying a message that's taking me away from the promises of God, the blessings of God, I have to turn it off. Now, I might listen to the instrumentals. I ain't gonna lie. I love hip-hop music, and I love gospel. I love Jesus and trap music. I need to get me a t-shirt that says, I love Jesus on the front, and on the back, I need to because I love, love it all, man. But when they start getting to all this crazy things, in, in fact, I'm going to go ahead and go on a little tangent, man. I was watching my buddy Plies. I call him Grip Plies. He said he was watching um, something called P-Valley. Y'all know who P-Valley is. You know, y'all don't act like y'all don't know. Y'all at least checked it out once or twice. But he's like, man, when he saw all the other stuff going on, he said, man, I got to turn the channel. <laughs> Lord, I don't know why I'm out here on this uh, on P Valley. You know, I don't know why I'm out here, but that must have been somebody need to hear that, man. If you keep watching that kind of stuff, man, it's going to get in your spirit and you're going to be walking in the counsel of the ungodly and you won't be blessed. You won't be blessed the way God wants to bless you and you're standing in the way of sinners. That means the way they do things. You don't want to do the things the way people of the world do those and expect God to bless you. It doesn't work like that. You want to be able to listen to sound doctrine. You want to be able to follow the map that God has given us to be blessed. He's put it in his word, man. If you go and you read through the book of Proverbs, man, they have a day for every day of the month. Proverbs has 31 days, just like Baskin Robbins got 31 flavors. How many guys out there like Baskin Robbins? Raise your hand. 
I, I, I can't eat it because I'm kind of lactose intolerant. I'm just, hey man, I don't know why God got me out here being so transparent, but I can't, I can't do milk products like that. So, you know, my wife loved Baskin Robbins. She loved mint chocolate chip. When I taste mint chocolate chip, man, it makes me almost about to puke. I don't like, she loves it. The kids like Rocky Road, chocolate chip, vanilla, strawberry. I can keep going, 31 flavors. Have you ever went to Baskin Robbins and looked and like, man, they got 31 flavors? Well, guess what, man? God also has 31 flavors. It's not ice cream, it's wisdom. This thing that's gonna treat you better than ice cream. And guess how many calories God word has? Oh, come on, Holy Spirit. Zero. So you don't even gotta worry about having a high caloric intake when you're intaking God word. You don't have to worry about being lactose intolerant when you're bringing in God's word, but yet he still have 31 flavors, 31 ways just to bless you. And that's not even including the toppings. Oh man, I'm just talking to you guys about godly counsel. And see, when you don't follow the Bible, which is the basic instructions before leaving the earth, B-I-B-L-E, that's the book for me, man. Guess what, man? You're going to be lost. You're going to be out there like a ship without a paddle. You're going to be out there just, just drifting through life. You don't even have an anchor when that storm blows because let me tell you, beloved, the storm of life is going to blow in all of our lives. We will all face a storm as not only just as believers, as human beings, but when that storm blows, what's going to be your anchor? That's my question. I mean, I have a situation going on in my life right now, in my family life, and the storm is blowing and the winds and waves are coming down. But guess what, man? We're holding on to an anchor. God is speaking to my spirit daily. He says, son, I got you. He's saying, stand and watch me win this battle. Sometimes you don't have to fight all your battles. Sometimes you just stand. Just like my buddy Donnie McClurkin said, he said, just stand and watch God fight. Did you know you have angels assigned to you, beloved? Man, right now, man, let me tell you, you have angels assigned to you to protect you. You have the same angels assigned to you to help you get to your God-given destination on this planet. But some of you guys, angels are in an unemployment line because you're not giving them any work to do. <laughs> Did you hear what I just said? Some of y'all angels are in an unemployment line because you're not giving them work to do. So what I like to do, and you can say it with me, angels, Go to the north, go to the south, go to the east, and go to the west, and bring in my promotion, my favor, and increase in Jesus' name. And the angels hearken to the voice of the Lord. See, as a believer, man, Christ lives inside of us, and the angels don't know the difference between our voice and Jesus' voice. So they go and do what you command them to do. You say, well, Dr. Short, well, what if I don't see them? Well, you can't believe everything you don't see. Can you see the Wi-Fi? No. Can you see the cell phone connection in which I'm talking to you? No. But you know it's there. It's happening. And that's what faith is. Faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. Quit waiting to see everything. And in God's economy, you have to believe it before you see it. Repeat that for somebody in the back. Come on, Holy Spirit. In God's economy, the way God's kingdom is built, you have to believe it before you see it. See, when you see it, that's not when it already happened. See, it happened once you believed it. Come on now. See, everything in the kingdom of God happens before you see it. That's why you have to say it before you see it. You have to say that I have a blessed marriage, even though your marriage is on the rocks. You got to say that, man, I have a sound mind, even though you're battling anxiety. You have to say, by his stripes, I'm healed, even though you are in a health challenge right now. See, the fight of life is going to come to all of us. And I want you to be equipped. I want you to be prepared. See, see, a great boxer is going to train before the fight. A great boxer don't fight and then train. <laughs> Same thing as a believer of God, as a woman of God, as a man of God, man, you have to prepare for the battle. See, David did that. David didn't know he was going to face Goliath, but God prepared him. 
God actually had him shepherding sheep. God had him protecting sheep. The Bible says David actually killed a bear with his bare hands and a lion. So when he saw that uncircumcised Philistine, when he saw Goliath, he was like, man, I already killed the bear and the lion in my bare hands. Who is this joker? Who is this MF? I believe David cussed. I ain't going to even front. <laughs> but it was a righteous cussing. Who is this dude think he is? That's going to come and defy our God. And that's what you need to say to that thing that's trying to take you down. That sickness, that disease, that stress in your marriage, the stress on your job, the stress in your mind. You have to call it an uncircumcised Philistine. And God is going to give you five stones. Five stones. That's all you need is five. You know how that song says, I got a pocket full of stones. Yeah, I'm going back to my 90s hip hop music. I got a pocket full of stones. Man, God give you just five words, man. Trust, believe, don't doubt, have faith, speak the word. And those are your five. You don't even need to use all them five. You can just use one. David didn't use all five stones. He used one. But five is a number of grace. Five is the number of God's unmerited favor in your life. Five is the number of miracles that's going to happen in your life. See, if it's a miracle you need, it's a miracle you're going to get. But you got to start speaking the word over the situation. And I love you. I got to go in here and take care of people's teeth and make them feel better. But I just pray, Lord, in the name of Jesus, those that can hear me and see me right now on this Thursday, Lord, give them the miracle that they need. Put them in the training room. Put them in the weight room that they can get stronger in your word. So when that battle come, when that Goliath come, and we will face it all. We all will face a Goliath. We will know how to get ahead of life. Say, Dr. Cho, what do you mean ahead in life? Well, when David killed Goliath, when he hit him, he went all the way dead. He took a sword and cut his head off and held it up. So he got ahead in life. He got ahead in life. He got further. And he got ahead in life because he actually was able to decapitate Goliath. And you will do the same thing. In Jesus' name, if you got something from this message, as I always say, like this message. The more you like this message, other people can see it. Share this message. Go to my YouTube page. Subscribe to it. Go out there and check out my books. I got two books out there that are inspirational books that will help you. One is called Getting to the Root of Your Problem. 365 Days of Inspirational Thinking. And the other one is called In the Eye of a Storm, 45 Days of Turbulence and Peace. I love you. Praying for you.